Number 10 then from the 2022 Higher Maths Paper 1, four mark question here, it's that transformed graph 1. Sketching the graph resulting from a transformation of a function. Here you've got the graph this, of this cubic function f of x with its two turning points. You've to sketch the graph of this other one of y equals 2 f of x plus 1. So there's three marks for producing this. Well, there's only two things happening to it. What you have to remember, first of all, is f of x is the original calculation. That's the original y-coordinate. This part here is the same as the original, or the old, if you like, the old y-value that you would have had at x. Now notice there's no change to x itself, which is quite handy, because that's quite an awkward one, because that's like an inverse change. So what this says is the new y will be two times the old y and then have one added to it at still the old position of x. There's no change to x. So in other words, all the y coordinates here, these are the old y's, they'll all be doubled. Whatever height they're at, they'll go to double that height and then everything, wherever it ends up, gets shifted up one. That's the correct order. Don't add on one first. You multiply before you add. And if you draw that along with the new coordinates, you'll get three marks. Now you could just do that because you can see that happening. Everyone gets stretched by two. Remember, two times the y coordinate means the ones that are positive stretch up the way, but the ones that are negative stretch down. So it's getting stretched like that to twice the coordinates. And then the whole thing moves up one. Or you could make up a table. You can make up a table of the old one and the new one, the original point, and the new point. So this point here, 0, 3. And this point here, 4, 0, because those are the only points I've got. Where do they go? Well, nothing happens to the x's. So they just stay where they are. It's only the y's that are being changed. 2 times the old y. I'll put the working down. 2 times 3 plus 1. 2 times the old y, 2 times 0, plus 1. I'll just put it again over here. So this point should go to the point 0, 7, and this should go to the point 4, 1. Now you can put whatever names you like there. Original point and image, or point and image. Or even just put the function names down, whatever you like, so I'm not going to even put anything there. Well, so what happens? So 0, 3 goes up to 0, 7. So that'll be about here. Put that in, 0, 7. 4, 1, 4, 0 goes up to 4, 1. So that's going to go to about there. It'll maintain the same cubic with a maximum here and a minimum there. So it should end up looking like this. Now, they're not going to be too bothered about how exactly you draw that curve, as long as it's got a maximum with that coordinate given and a minimum with that coordinate given. I don't think I'm going to bother too much about the gradients, but the gradients of this curve should be steeper than the corresponding gradients of the original one. But there were three marks, but it's difficult to see, show where they put the three marks, because there's a three marks where for doubling it, so it's stretched to twice the height, adding on one, so it's shifted up one, and doing them in the right order. So it's difficult to show exactly where all the things come in. You could also say, well, does it come from these two points and then putting them together? But essentially there's just three marks just for doing that. Now in part B, just for the one mark, it just says state, so you don't have to draw it. State the coordinates of the stationary points in the graph of y equals f of a half x. Now this time, there's no change to the y coordinates, but there is a change to where you find them. The function of a half x means when you plot your new function, whatever value you want to plot it at, for instance, if you wanted to plot the value of 4, you'd have to go to 2 to find that answer and then bring it forward to 4. So what this does is it's changing the x spread of it. It's stretching it by 2. It says a half x, but it stretches it by 2. 
because you have to go, whenever you want to plot a point to find this answer, you have to go back halfway to get it and then bring it forward there to plot it. So that just says this one, everything's going to be stretched by two. Well, the turning points would be this then. The one that was at zero three, since it's on the y-axis and since x is at zero, that would just stay where it is. The one that's at four zero though, however, will get stretched up to eight zero. Putting those down gets the mark.